Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, excuse the tank top. It's extremely hot in my house. <laughs> no, um, anyway, so I am going to be doing a tutorial and review on the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, I just recently got this palette probably a month or two ago from um, a TJ Maxx near where I live and I found it for a really great deal so I went ahead and picked it up. I normally don't like spending a lot of money um, on eyeshadow palettes or makeup at all for that matter. Did you guys see that fly? I've got a back door in my house. <laughs> And I think they're coming in from there when I open the door. Sorry. Anyway, so I found it um, at TJ Maxx. And I thought that I would just give it a review. Um, because I've been using it for about two months. And if any of you guys have um, followed my Instagram page. Um, I do not like spending a lot of money on makeup. I am a mom of two. And they're very little. And I don't like to spend money on a lot of really high-end makeup. So, um, for me, this was a little bit of a splurge, the, the other most splurgy item that we've ever gotten. Um, my husband bought me the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyeshadow Palette um, for Mother's Day. And that's the only other high-end makeup that I really own. <laughs> so, I thought that I would go ahead and do a review. Um, I like this palette and I don't like this palette. I'm kind of uh, in between on it um, due to the fact that it does cost so much. And, um, you know, which to a lot of people, it doesn't cost a whole lot. But to me, as a mom um, who mainly focuses on her kids, um, I don't want to have to spend a ton of money on makeup when I've got other makeup that's cheaper that gets the do job done just as well. So, um, I hope you guys like this review, you know, and... Uh, if you like it, keep using it. You know, if you already own it, there's no reason to not use it just because of what I say. Um, but let's go ahead and just jump right on in. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys. So, we have a... It actually does smell really good. I didn't expect it to actually smell like a chocolate bar the first time I ever, <laughs> I ever opened it. And it actually ended up smelling just like a chocolate bar. So, um, we have got a ton of different shades in here. As you guys can see, we've got one really good blue that pops out in this palette. Um, this black here pops out. This one is called Licorice. Um, if I'm correct, the blue is called uh, Blueberry Swirl. One of my favorites in here is actually this caramel right here. This kind of um, orangey gold shade. That's one of my favorites. These two colors, I love this one for highlighting, and this one is really good for setting the under eye. That is the one thing that I have to give this palette. This palette is very creamy. It's very buttery. It's very, it's very nice to work with. And then also that chocolatey smell. If you love the smell of chocolate, you're going to love putting that on your eyes because I do smell it throughout the day. I don't think I've ever seen a review where people say I can smell it throughout the day. For me, I can. I don't know if my nose is just uber sensitive, but being able to smell it throughout the day and it smells really good almost the whole day is awesome to me. So that part I really do love. Um, the only thing I don't like in here, which is surprising to me, is this blue shade here. And the reason why is because if you look at it in the pan, it looks extremely bright and it looks really great and everything, but then you go to swatch it And it's almost gray. It's almost gray. And it just, it's not, it just doesn't look as nice blended on the eyes. It doesn't look as nice um, swatched. None of that. It's just, it's not a good color. Um, so that one in particular is not my favorite, which is one of the things that actually drew me to this palette was that blue. So the fact that it's not that great is a bummer for me. So, if that's why you're going to get this palette, there are 10 times better blues out there than getting it in this palette. Um, another one of my favorite ones is this one that's called Pink Sugar. This one actually has almost no color to it. It is literally just a sparkle. 
my camera will focus on the finger. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and swatch it. And you can see there's no color to it. It's literally, it's just sparkles. Yeah, I still don't think my camera's going to focus. Okay, so we are probably... I really don't know what colors I want to play with today. I know that I don't want to go a little too dark. I'm thinking about going ahead and using caramel as my lid shade. Um, I guess we'll just have to see where we go. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. Sorry for the really long intro, but I'm going to go ahead and slip these off and put on my crown. Didn't call myself beauty queen for nothing, right? You guys like this bun? I got one of those donut things. I think it's the best thing ever. I've got a lot of hair. So, I actually got the biggest one that they had. I got this one from from Forever 21. Um, and it's almost not big enough because of how long my hair is. You guys can see my hair is wrapped around it too. So um, I've already washed my face and I um, moisturized it and everything. I moisturized with Pond's um, lotion and then I washed, I also washed my face before I put the lotion on. I washed my face with um, Castle Soap Lavender. So far, that and proactive are the only two things that help with my skin while I have psoriasis. Now, the ponds, I don't like using it, but I don't really have a choice because the only stuff I found that won't make my um, psoriasis flare up around my nose and stuff, but it causes me to have breakouts from using it. So I, I would actually prefer to have breakouts over the psoriasis because the psoriasis itches whereas the breakouts I don't have to touch them so okay so I've got my I used elf hydrating face primer I bought the really big one I go through way too much of this um, to not get the bigger bottle so I went ahead and got the big one and also again I had to put another type of lotion <laughs> over the top of the ponds to make it to where my skin doesn't flake after I put the foundation on. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I've got mine in Soft Ivory, as you can see right there. I do not like this foundation for all over my face. I can't stand it all over my face. It does smell like, it does smell like almost like a a mix be to me it smells like a mix between play-doh and um an old car is what it smells like to me like when you're changing the oil on a car which i don't think is a good thing for this kind of thing to smell like but you never know <laughs> so um i'm gonna go in with my I have way too many sponges. I'm probably going to use my Real Technique sponge, but I love it. My husband, anytime he wants to get me something makeup related, but he doesn't know what to get me, he just buys me another sponge. So I have a lot of them. That and brushes. The second year we were married. The only thing I wanted was I wanted the whole Real Techniques collection of brushes. The ones that were out at the time. And that's all I wanted. I told him, I said, that's, that's the only thing I want. And um, we probably spent $100 in brushes two years ago or so for, for the brushes. And I still have all of them. They are just, they're, they're great quality brushes, great quality sponges. They are outstanding. And you will probably see me use quite a, bit, quite a few of them today. Um, okay, so I don't set um, 
the foundation once I put it on my eyes uh, because I feel like the color shows up a little bit better if you don't set it. So I am going to go straight in. I am going to use a Wet n Wild crease brush. It's really fluffy. This is my favorite brush. I can use this one brush to do an entire eye look. We are going to jump into, um, let's go with the shade Peanut Butter. We're going to go with this one right here. I think I'm going to go with a warm tone look today. And I'm just gently, I'm tapping into it over and over again. I really like to put a lot of color on the brush. Now this uh, palette does have a little bit of kickback, so if that's not your favorite thing in the world, I might have to put this up here so I can see what I'm doing. You guys should see how I have you propped up right now. I've got you strapped to a box because I don't have a camera stand big enough for my phone. And the stand that we do have, my husband has to take it when he's interviewing for football. So bye bye to that one. See, and that's the other thing. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It is a little bit patchy when you first put it on, which is the other thing for me. You can build it up. But it is difficult to actually blend it into the crease. Because it doesn't like to. And I never have a problem with eyeshadows when I do the method of, of not setting the foundation on my eyes. Never. If this video ends up being like super long, I'm so sorry. I film from my iPhone 6. And so I don't really have any way to um, edit my videos without completely losing my patience with whatever app I'm trying to use. So if it ends up being long, I just can't help it right now. Trying not to make my hands be in the way. I've got like these big sh sausage hands. So I keep holding the brush in weird angles trying to figure out which one's not going to block the view of the camera. And that's the other thing. When you're trying to blend out eyeshadows, as quick as they make it look in other videos, I get that like people that have been doing makeup for a while know it's going to take at least five minutes per shadow to blend it out just the way that you need it to to make it look a certain way. But new people to makeup that have no idea, like I was, don't realize that that's why their eyeshadow isn't turning out the way they want it to. So you guys are going to get to see how much time I really take blending all of my shadows. Because it takes me a long time. You guys see the camera changing colors because I'm moving my hand. I've got a desk light for you guys. And a ring light. And that's about it. I like the background though. I think that looks cute. Okay. Next, I think I'm going to dip into Truffled. This color right here. And I'm going to gently dip into that one because that one is extremely pigmented. And I'm just going to place this on the outer corner to just deepen it up a little bit. And you guys saw, I just went in with the same wet and wild brush. See, that's the other thing. Do you guys see how that's not wanting to blend out that great?
it does take quite a bit of blending to get that color to work. So what are you guys' favorite palettes? I, I don't know how many people actually watch my videos. I know like my very first one had I think 133 views on the very first um, video I had ever done on YouTube. But I've actually had to be off YouTube for probably two years um, due to going back into the workforce and not being a stay-at-home mom anymore and I just kind of lost the passion for makeup and uh, I didn't have time to do it so um, I don't I didn't tell you guys what I was doing so right there I had dipped back into peanut butter to kind of blend that out just a little bit more and now I'm gonna go back into truffle and kind of stamp a little bit more on before I go back into peanut butter and blend out those edges. I don't know if anybody else hearing me talk about these colors when I say peanut butter or truffled if it makes them start craving chocolates but it is me. <laughs> and I don't even eat chocolate that often. I don't think that looks bad. I like that. I could stay here and blend out edges for the rest of my life and be okay with it. Okay, so I think the next color I'm going to go into is I'm going to go into Butter Pecan, which is this giant highlighting shade right here. And I'm actually going to go into the exact same, within, I'm just going to go in with the exact same brush. And I'm very lightly tapping on it because I'm just going to put it right here. I'm not wanting to take it anywhere else for right now. And this is to kind of help blend that top orange shade from peanut butter into the inner corner for when I put caramel on. So I'm actually going to use my finger and I'm going to go into caramel and I'm just rubbing my finger like that. Do you guys see how golden coppery that is? It's so pretty. And I'm going to go and I'm just going to start pressing it onto the lid. This has got to be one of my favorite shades. I love oranges on my eyes because my eyes are a mix between blue and green. And I like for the blue to come through more than the green. Which is why you don't see like purple looks on me a lot because purple brings out green. And like coppers and reds and stuff bring out blues. So a lot of times you will actually see me wearing more coppery and warm shades than you will purple. I really love that. Okay, so I'm going to dip back into... I think I'm going to dip back into peanut butter a little bit with the same brush. And I'm just going to use it to blend this right here to blend all three of those shades that we just laid down. And this can go a lot quicker if you're not filming. When you're filming, that's when it starts to go really slow. So, just so you guys know, it's not gonna take that long. So we're gonna dip back into that in a little bit. I'm actually going to go into my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black. And I am using the new e.l.f. Eyeliner Brush. And right now, all we're doing is I'm going to um, line my, my tight line. And I'm really loading this brush up. If you don't load the brush up with this product... It doesn't um, distribute it evenly. It'll be really skippy. So you want to make sure that it's really anyway. It's really loaded up. My camera just doesn't want to focus. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use this 
I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, and if you guys can see, this eye, the lashes look a lot thicker at the base and darker, and that's basically what t uh, lining the, the top waterline is for, is just to make the lashes look thicker. So I'm just going to repeat the same thing on the other side. I actually touched my eyeball on that one. <laughs> okay, so now that I've got both of them lined, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to go in with some Lash Paradise mascara. Everybody talks about this one now. My only problem with this is if you guys can see how clumpy that is, when you try to scoop up that product that gets stuck there on the lip. It, it doesn't like to get scooped up and then it goes to waste. That's my problem. But other than that, this mascara, this and the Maybelline Rocket Mascara are my absolute favorite. And then um, the lashes on this eye actually like just stick straight out whereas these just curl on their own. So I kind of help these guys along. Because they hate me and they don't want to do what my other eye does. This eye is my beautiful eye. And this eye is not. This is the one that never wants to do what I want it to. But it's because there's so much scarring around it. So do you guys do anything when you're putting on makeup? Like watch YouTube videos or anything like that? I am extremely guilty of sitting there and binge watching YouTube videos while I put on makeup. I don't like it to be quiet. And over half the time when I'm doing my makeup, I'm either up before my kids so they're not making any noise. And then, um, like right now while I'm filming, it's kind of like going crazy over here because my kids are in bed and I don't have anything to do <laughs> or listen to, that is, because I can't film from my phone and watch YouTube. So I'm going to go in with my NYX Total Control. I've been trying this. This looks like a, almost white in this bottle. This is in the shade Vanilla. And I've been trying this one out. Because it has been... I've, I've had it for a little while, actually. And I just haven't been using it because I've been using the L'Oreal Pro Glow which is one of my favorite foundation. It's 
I don't really use almost anything else. And it's because of how dry my skin is, I'm always scared to use a different foundation because I don't know if it's going to be too dry for my skin. Because that's the other thing about the, uh, the photo focus is it's too dry for my skin. So besides the fact that it just smells bad, it's too dry to be using on my skin. So I just went in with some of that and now I'm going to go in with a, what did I do with it? See this, this is, I lose stuff. Oh, there it is. It's because I'm not wearing my glasses. It was right in front of my face. I am going in with the Wet n Wild Smudge Brush. Um, it's got a really flat tip. This is great for cutting a crease. Is what this is good for. And I'm actually going to go back into uh, Truffled first. And I'm going to drag it right here at the corner. And I'm keeping it super close to the lash line because we're going to take peanut butter and smudge that out. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other eye. And then with the same brush, like I said, we're going to go back into peanut butter. And we're going to take it just a little bit lower. You don't want to take it too low because then you'll close off your eye. See, and that just pulls the whole eye look together. I'm kind of contemplating doing liner or not. I don't know which one I want to do yet. Okay, now I've wiped this brush off and I'm actually going to go back into Butter Pecan. And I'm going to put it right here on the inner corner and the very beginning of my lash line. I don't know if it's going to show up in the actual video, but that color change is going to bother me. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip doing actual liner today. I think that the waterline on the top is good enough to not, to not have to worry about it. So I'm actually going to take the Rocket Volume Express by Maybelline. 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 And I'm going to take that on my lower lashes. I don't like using the Lash Paradise. Um, because on me, I rub my eyes too much. And that one crumbles really bad if you rub it. And I've got really long lower lashes. So, it crumbles pretty bad if I'm not careful. Spidery looking. I accidentally touched the mascara. Okay, so I'm actually going to go back in with that NYX foundation. And we are going to go ahead and just do the whole face. Do you guys see how watery this is? I posted about this on my Instagram today. Because it's super watery. But it's got a ton of coverage. 
and you guys will see what I'm talking about. Do you guys see that? And it's way too light for me. But when I was color matched, it was weird. Because I was color matched at Ulta for this foundation. And it's got the right undertone, but it's not the right color. And it's always harder to find my undertone in foundations. Because I've got like an olive -y undertone. But my skin is super red, so it just kind of looks weird. And then during the summer, I'm really, really tan. So it's, it's harder to find a foundation for me because of that. Looking off camera in my big mirror. And I'm just going to bring it down the neck a little bit. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my Infallible Pro Glow Concealer, and I've got it in Classic Ivory, and I put it right here, and right here, and I actually put some on the tip of my nose or my foundation breaks apart, and then I'm going to put some right here, and on my chin. I don't know if you guys can hear my dryer in the background singing, but it sings for like five minutes. It just never stops. And I can't figure out how to turn it off. I got my washing machine one to turn off. But I can't figure out how to turn the one off on my dryer. So it just sings all the time. Okay, that actually looks really good. In person though, my cheeks don't look that red. I am gonna say that one, my cheeks don't look that red in person. Hmm. Okay, so next I'm actually gonna go into um, my Cody Airspun. And I've just got mine in, in naturally neutral. Yeah, I didn't go with, uh, I didn't get just the translucent one. But it's a loose powder, so I am going to go in with my um, Eco Tools. This one's been through the ringer. You guys can see my kids got a hold of it. And this one is damp. I do like applying my powder with a damp sponge because I think it makes it look nicer when it's done. And I don't know if you'd really consider this baking because I just press the powder into my skin until it's pressed in really nice. I don't just leave it sitting on my skin. Make me look super white though. If you don't set this though, that NYX stuff, it does crease really bad. Because I don't know if you guys can pick it up on the camera. Those wrinkles run in my family. And this NYX stuff really loves to settle in it. So I'm just going to press a ton of this powder into my face. Because I do raise my eyebrows a lot, and that's where those wrinkles come from. Probably have wrinkles there like the next 10 years because I raise my eyebrows so much. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma.
Although then again, that's another opportunity to, to learn a different makeup style. Because I'll have to learn how to cover up the wrinkles. Okay, so I actually, I'm not liking how this part right here looks. I don't think it looks blended enough. So I'm actually going to grab this brush again. And I am going to go into Coconut Cream, which is this matte banana yellow shade. And very lightly, I'm going to dip my brush into it over and over and over again. And I'm just going to run this along here just to kind of straighten some of that roughness out. Yeah, I, th I think that makes it look a little less harsh. There we go. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my highlight to my inner corner, which I've lost my highlighting brush. I wonder if my daughter got a hold of it. I bet you she did. She takes everything. Yeah, I can't find it. Okay, that's okay though. We are going to go in with my Moda Prismatic Shader Brush. I actually prefer um, like eyeshadow brushes. I use their dual ended one for this, but today we can go ahead and just use this. And I'm going in with Wet n Wild um, Golden Flower Crown. This thing is beautiful. Like you guys can already see I've kind of like dug a hole into it. I'm trying to like get to the outer corners so I don't accidentally hit pan right in the middle and then like the rest of it crumbles apart. And I'm taking this all over this area right here. That golden -y color looks really great with the rest of the eye look going on. So the next thing I'm going to go into is I'm going to go into my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I have got mine in the shade um, Light Bronzer. And on the camera it looks super cool tone. But in, in person it's really warm tone which is good for me. Cool tones just don't look good on me. And this stuff, this stuff is amazing. You want to add any color to your face, this stuff will do it. And normally I use this really big um, Real Techniques powder brush that's really huge. But this one, I washed all my brushes earlier and this one's still wet. So I'm going to go in with my um, Eco Tools full brush. And I'm gonna bronze myself up with that one instead. And I like to take a little bit of it into my hair just so it blends a little bit better. How do you guys feel about like an hour long video? You think you'll stay here and just watch me put on makeup for an hour? <laughs> Probably not. If you've made it this far, I applaud you. Because listening to my voice, I wouldn't be able to make it this far. I can't even go back and rewatch my videos. I hate my voice that much. I don't know, I feel like it sounds super manly. You know, just like, it's a really deep. Like even when I'm trying to sing or something, it's always really deep and I sound like a man. Okay. That added some really great color. See, that's the great thing about bronzers. You can use the lightest foundation ever and your bronzer will help fix it. It just adds that color back to your face again. So the next thing that I think I'm gonna go in with is I'm actually gonna go in with my blush. Yeah, I'm gonna be using Measurable Difference Baked Face Blush in Rose. Um, I got this at TJ Maxx, so I don't know where they actually sell it. Um, 
I have never seen this anywhere until I went to TJ Maxx. But you got to be really careful with it because this is a clean brush and look at that. It was just that color. And I only dipped in about two times. And I got that pigmentation off that. And sometimes I get carried away, like just then. It's okay though. It it wears off pretty easy. It doesn't it doesn't really stick to the skin. It'll last you about eight to ten hours, um, which I wear my makeup for a really long time because I'm awake for so long. My highlighter brush was right there. <laughs> And again, because I didn't have my glasses on, I thought it was a different brush. So I use this end. I use this crease brush on this dual-ended brush. And that's what I always use for highlighter. I don't like using any other brush. So I take some on the tip of the nose. And right here. And I put a lot on. Because it helps hide my blemishes. And my camera's probably not going to show you how awesome it looks. And then I actually take some right here. And some right here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill in my brows a little bit. I use the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil. It is dual sided. I love dual sided stuff but um, usually with a look like this I try to stay pretty natural on the brows um, so I'm mainly filling in scarring with this I've got some scarring on this brow right here that makes it to where the brow under here doesn't grow so this one always looks a lot thicker so I mainly just fixing that so that it doesn't look so uneven because this brow naturally looks a lot shorter than this one too I don't mind the scarring showing that's not a big deal I just don't like it when my brows look like they're two different lengths so after I do that I just take this spoolie and I drag the product through it a little bit better so that it's not so harsh. And they look like 10 times better like that. So. I am going to go in with um, my Great Lash Maybelline New York Lots of Lashes. This one that's like $4 to pick up anywhere. Um, and I actually run this through my brow hairs very gently. And this will help hold them in place. For me, I like doing this. I don't know how many people out there actually do this. There's probably quite a bit of them. I'm sure I'm not the first person to use mascara in their eyebrows. But it also helps because my hair is so dark. Like it's got blonde up here, but that's fake. And this is my natural hair color is this super dark, almost black stuff. And so when I'm doing my eyebrows, I like for my eyebrows to match my natural hair color. I don't want them to match the blonde hair color. So I make sure that they're darker like my natural hair is so that it all kind of blends well together and it looks really nice. So I think the last thing that we need to, no second to last thing because I still got to put on setting spray, is I'm actually going to go into my Revlon um, Matte Ultra HD Matte Lip Color 
and I don't I think I took the sticker off this one I've talked about these like crazy this is the more corally pink I don't know if this one's gonna look good with the eye color I got going on hmm yeah I don't think it is let me see I didn't want to have to put on a, a matte lipstick because those things have been taking a toll on my lips. This one says matte, but it's more like a cream finish. It's not like actually matte. So we're going to take that one back off. I don't want to do it too dark either, though. That's the other thing. I think we might go with that one. And this is Nudist Peach by Wet n Wild. This is their liquid cat suits. These lipsticks are my absolute favorites. I love these. Can't really talk while you're putting on lipstick so next I'm gonna go in with my make it dewy Milani setting spray 16 hours and I'm gonna go ahead and you don't want to use too much this stuff is really great because even if you breathe it in it doesn't smell like overly perfumed and perfect so, um, guys, that was my review for today on the um, Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I know it's a really long review. It's a really long video. Hopefully, sometime soon, I can get my computer back up and running and I will be able to edit the videos like I need to. Um, do I think this palette's worth, my, worth your money? I think if you can find it discounted, it is. I think that you can find these kinds of shades in a ton of other palettes like I don't think I necessarily need to own this one because I own the Kat Von D palette and then I own some wet and wild palettes that would give me this color that I've got going on right there on the lid um, if you absolutely just want a higher end um, palette this one is great it is awesome but if you have a lot of these colors in your other palettes I don't think it's gonna be worth the money to you um, just because it it performs like a normal shadow it doesn't it there's nothing about it to me that just stands out and goes wow I think that had the blue been the color that I thought it was gonna be that would be great um, but my like the licorice the black color in here I've got a Kat Von D black that is even better than that one um, I still love using that one to run along my lash line to make it look like I have a smoked out um, liner but other than that I've seen these colors in a ton a ton of other palettes um, hopefully I'm gonna be doing a look soon um, with nougat and the um, pink sugar down there and I'm gonna see if I can record that video as well and hopefully get that one up for you guys um, because I think that one I think those two colors would be a whole lot of fun but hopefully I can get back into filming since I've got this set up now and I will see you guys in my next video.